Hello, we're back again. I'm going to show you how to install a alternative web GUI for TV head end, which is uh, pretty easy to install. Let me just open a browser. So the other day I found a GitHub by Dave P, who's the uh, developer of the, uh, say, the alternative GUI. On the GitHub, it's got all the information, and you can see it's, it's still being updated. Let me just scroll down to installation. There's a couple of ways you can install it. I'll just show you the way I do it. Right, where it says alternatively, copy the file. I'm gonna highlight this text all the way, all the way up to uh, dot .zip. Just gonna right click on, uh, I'm just gonna right click on it and go to going to go into my downloads and then click save only takes a few seconds to download right I'm just going to go into my downloads folder and there's a file we just downloaded so I'm going to right click I use 7-zip and I'm going to extract to And that's done. What I'm going to do is right click on it and rename it. And you want to remove the dash master. So it just says JS at the end. So you've got your folder and it just says JS at the end. Right, we're going to be using a bit of software called WinSCP to move the folder over to the Raspberry Pi. It's free to use. Right, I'm gonna create a new site. The host name is the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. Mine's 192.168.1.137. Username is Pi. And the password is the very first password you used when you installed Pi OS, the uh, light version. The thing we've got to do, we need to log in as root. So I'm going to click on advanced. And then you want to click on SFTP. Let me just open notepad. Just going to copy this line of text. This is so we can log in as root to the Raspberry Pi. Just going to minimize and paste it over default. Then I'm going to click OK. Then in the save drop down, I'm going to click save. And I always tick the box for save password. And then click OK. And then we're going to log in. Right, the window on the left is my PC, my downloads folder. And there's the file we downloaded and the one we just renamed. And the window on the right is your Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to click on the drop down and I'm going to go into root. Let me just open up the GitHub. So it tells you where you need to place the folder. So you've got user, share, TV head end, TV head end SRC, web, UI and static. Right, so let me go back. So I'll go to user, S-U-S-R, and then share. And let me scroll down to uh, TV head end. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Right, 
Then we can go into SRC. And then Web UI. And then Static. So this is a folder we want on the right. So all I'm going to do is drag over the folder from uh, my downloads, the one I renamed, and just drag it over to the Raspberry Pi. And it takes a few seconds to move over. And there's our new folder from my PC over to the Raspberry Pi. That's all we need to do there. That's everything done. Right, let me just open up my notepad. Where it says your TVH server, you want to replace that with the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. So mine again is 192.168.1.137. I'll put this all in the uh, description. So I'm just going to copy the text. Right click and copy. I'm just going to minimize that. Just going to open a new tab. Right click and paste. Or you can right click and go to. Just click on the link and this is the uh, new GUI. Personally, I think it does look and work a lot better than the original. The original will still work. You can have both running at the same time. So I'll go into what's on now. Gives me all the um, information. You see you've got timeline. So you can see what's on for the rest of the week. And all the different channels. I'll just go back. So I'll just click on one and you can set your recordings. I'll just click cancel. Then we go into channels. I can select a channel. Or I'll go BBC One HD. So you've got everything which is on today. Uh, everything which is on tomorrow. And at the end, you've got your record and a record series. So you've got record and record series. You can also set up favorite channels. I'll show you how you do that in a minute. Let's say you've got your timers for recordings, uh, finished recordings, your series links. Got a status page. And then you've got configuration. So you can swap things about if you want to. One thing I do change over is channel sort order. I change it to LCN. So the channels are sorted via the channel number. So you get like BBC One, BBC Two, IT3, ITV, ITV, Channel Four, Channel Five. So you get everything in the right order. And down the bottom is this is where you can uh, sort out your favourites. You just highlight them and click to move them across. So you can just have your favourite channels listed, and then you just click save down the bottom right. So I'll just go uh, back to what's on now. As you can see now they're all listed via BBC One, Two, ITV, Channel Four, Channel Five, ITV Two. It's all like a normal numbering scheme. It's easier to find the channels when they're listed via their numbers and the timeline. So that's the, uh, a new uh, web GUI for TV head end. So as always, I uh, hope this video helps and uh, goodbye.